Hello brethren. Thanks for visiting our channel today known as Division of Labor. We are joining ongoing 21 days fasting and prayer with God's servant Prophet Ebuka Obi, the spiritual director, Zion Prayer Movement Outreach this year 2024 and the Lord who dwells in Zion Ministry will show your family and friends mercy this time. The manner of prayers we are going to pray here today, your voice must pray, your spirit must pray, your soul must pray, your body must pray, your mouth must pray, because here lies the problem of so many of us, and this is a very great tragedy, that a lot of people are all from the cradle to the grave. Please brethren if you are visiting the channel for the first time, remember, share to your friends and family, like and subscribe as well, because it is written, Psalm 68 verse 11, the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. Hallelujah. May you be blessed as you pray along. Amen. Praise God. Welcome to the day 13 of the 21 days fasting and prayer, Saturday, February 3, 2024. Topic, Your Heaven Shall Be Opened. Our passages from New King James Version as follows, Isaiah 6 verse 1, Isaiah called to be a prophet, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Isaiah 60 verse 11, Therefore your gates shall be opened continually, they shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles, and their kings in procession. Matthew 6 verses 13 to 15, And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Revelation 3 verses 7 to 8, The faithful church, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it, for you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Meditation on today's scriptural passages Your open heaven can be attributable to the attainment your destiny or realization of divine ordination and purposes in our life. Different type of things can cause a person's heaven to be closed. It can be caused by your sins or the sins of your ancestors. It can also be as a result of the activities of some negative personalities, human or spiritual, occultic or diabolical. Working against you. A person can, out of enviousness or wickedness vow that he or she can never live and see the manifestation or accomplishment of your destiny or divine purposes in your life. King Herod wanted to kill Jesus in order to frustrate and make his purpose of coming to the world unrealizable or unachievable. The angel of the Lord revealed to Joseph in a dream to carry Jesus and the mother Mary to Egypt and remain there until the death of Herod. When Herod died the angel also in a dream instructed Joseph to return to the land of Israel with Jesus and his mother Mary. Subsequently, Jesus started his ministry of salvation. Also, in Isaiah 6 verse 1, the scripture recorded that the year King Uzziah died Isaiah saw the Lord and that marked the manifestation of his call as a prophet of God it is possible that you are not where you are supposed to be. It is also possible that you are suffering from closed heaven or destiny or that some negative forces or powers are frustrating the manifestation of divine purposes in your life. Before the end of this program, your destiny shall be delivered, manifested and accomplished. Your heaven shall be opened. Every King Herod or Ozia in your life blocking the manifestation and attainment of your destiny shall be neutralized by angelic intervention. You shall be connected to your destiny helper. Your enemies according to the word of God in Isaiah 41 verses 11 to 12 shall know the shame of defeat, uprooted and destroyed for your sake. Every closed door in your life, family and business shall be vigorously and forcefully opened by divine mandate in the name of Jesus. We take on our prayer points 1 to 4. Prayer point number 1. My Father, by your power let every closed door in my life be opened in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your power let every closed door in my life be opened in the name of Jesus. My Father, 
by your power let every closed door in my life be open in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer point number 2. Lord, by your power, let my destiny receive divine boost and manifestation in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, let my destiny receive divine boost and manifestation in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, let my destiny receive divine boost and manifestation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer point number 3. O Lord, by your power, let every evil man or woman the standing against manifest at ion and accomplishment of my destiny be neutralized by angelic intervention in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by your power, let every evil man or woman the standing against manifest at ion and accomplishment of my destiny be neutralized by angelic intervention in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by your power, let every evil man or woman the standing against manifest at ion and accomplishment of my destiny be neutralized by angelic intervention in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer point number 4. Pray for our spiritual director, Evangelist Ibuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Brethren, it is important according to Ephesians 6 verse 19, and for God's servant, that utterance may be given to him, that he may open his mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which he is an ambassador in chains, that in it he may speak boldly, as he ought to speak. For that reason, in Philippians 1 verse 19 For he know that through our prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ what has happened to him would turn out for his deliverance. We intercede as it is written in Colossians 4 verse 3 and pray for Zionites, also, that God may open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which we are in battles. We invoke the throne verdict from Isaiah 44 verse 25, Jehovah who frustrated the tokens of the liars, against those who satanically use Zion prayer movement outreach as their full-time business, and God makes diviners mad, he turns wise men backward, and makes their knowledge foolish. Again, in Job 5 verse 12, he disappointed the devices of the native doctors and crafty that speaks against Brother Ibuka Obi, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Let God arise and scatter every conspiracy from the heavenliest and from the water that rages against God's servant and his ministry, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty God. According to your word in Deuteronomy 33 verses 26 to 27, there is no one like the God of brother Ibuka Obi, who rides the heavens to help his servant, and in his excellency on the clouds. The eternal God is prophet Ibuka's refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, he will thrust out the enemy from before Zion prayer movement outreach, and will say, destroy. Again Father. Your word says in Psalms 105 verse 15, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. We decree and declare. O you that trouble the ministry of Evangelist Ibuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, the God of fire and thunder shall trouble you today, in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, your word said in Zechariah 2 verse 5, For me, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around Zion Prayer Movement premises and I will be the glory in her midst. Now we pray, that every enemy of the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, scatter, in the name of Jesus. Also our Father, your word said in Matthew 15 verse 13, said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. O God, arise and uproot anything you did not plant inside the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in Jesus' name. Amen. According to 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. We pray now, let the fire of Holy Ghost and revival fall upon Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Brethren we take on our prayer effective prayer book 64. Prayer for open doors. In Mark 1 verse 10, at your baptism, O Lord, the heavens were opened. I stand in the name of Jesus to declare every door that is closed in my life to be open in Jesus' name. Amen. Your word says in Revelation 3 verse 7, that you have the key of David, when you open a door no one can close it, and when you close it, no one can open it, and in verse 8 you said, that you have opened a door for me, which no one can close. Every door closed by the enemies against me, 
I command it in the name of Jesus Christ to be opened now. Amen. In Isaiah 60 verse 11, the Word of God says, My doors will be opened and will never be shut day or night by the power in the Word of God. Let the doors to my favor be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Doors to my promotion, prosperity and progress be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Doors to my marriage be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Doors to my vocation and ministry be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Doors to my healing and deliverance be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Doors to my joy, victory, success and breakthroughs, be open in Jesus' name. Amen. Doors to my education and employment, be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the doors of my family's testimonies be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Let all my doors that they have closed spiritually and physically be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Please brethren, See the prayer script in the description below and subscribe our channel and share to your friends and family as it is written in Psalm 68 verse 11, King James Version, that the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. See you on tomorrow's prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah and hallelujah. Spread lies against the anointed, and that is why the Bible says in Psalm 2, lay him in our bodies, a baggy don't yet a man will be never she will have us. One thing about an anointing is that anointing is like ordination. Anytime you see somebody being against the anointed, wash them, they don't last. They end up shamefully. Because even the anointed, God is jealous of them. That is why he says, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. And uh, even when those prophets is even wrong, he has never given you cane to flog them. Uh, we thank God for those telling the world what Jesus is doing. And we are watching to see those ones spreading lies about Epuka and Zion ministry. Just to capture the mind of the people. We are here, the idea. We will watch and see how they will end up. You will watch and see. Even when God was not happy with David, his son pushed him away. Still, his son died. And David regained his throne. He don't deal with those who are anointed. The Bible says, for those I call, I justify them. And I qualify them. The two statements is powerful. Those I call, I justify and I qualify them. So most of you, using your platform to tell the world what Jesus is doing here, God bless you. Amen. The sister was giving testimony from a blogger, which we don't know. May God bless the blogger. Amen. And then they put against the anointed here. Is it no higher? Much better how We will watch and see. If you want to fight Ebukobi, he draw no history about Ebukobi. Those that have done that before, you where are they today? Those that are, we are doing it from the year, from the twelve years to today, where are they? Do they know that before we came, we came to Agor, there was a place called Desert we are staying with. The pastors there will go and drop a lot of charm. Where are they today? Even when they plan assassin against me, 2012, where are they today? This is the second time they plan assassinate him. So, Obi Karamni Fem Neme, and Obi Kasiremike. Because when you are doing something that is truth, you don't need to be afraid. It is when that is worrying what you are doing, you'll be afraid because you can be exposed from here or there. But so far as your hand is clean and you are calling the same God that called you, you don't need to be scared. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 57, thanks be to God who has given us victory in Christ Jesus. So we bless the, the 
the people speaking good and those that normally tell the word about what God is doing here. And those people that you see, all those ones that are normally speaking against Zebuka, if I want to deal with them physically, let me know. I won't even spend one money. I know one, one senator in Abuja that called me that he wants